This is how you can unlock every single item in Hogwarts Legacy. By now you already know the game is massive and there's a ton of loot to gather both in Hogwarts and its surrounding areas. Obviously, you're not going to get access to everything from the jump. However, here is the easiest path for you to access all of that crazy loot without getting too carried away. The story essentially gives you three important tools to help you with item gathering throughout your journey. First up is the Revelio spell. Brand. which will allow you to reveal hidden items and objectives throughout the world. This one is super easy to get as the game will essentially gift it to you as part of the main tutorial quest. Revelio is pretty unique because it is one of the game's essential utility spells. Wow! It does not take a spot in your item spell slot. Once you have access to it, all you have to do to activate it is press left on your D-pad or the relevant keybind if you're playing on PC. As you can see, the spell allows you to see flu powder markers, chests, nearby stores, and even enemies from a distance. But it will not last forever, which is why we want to unlock the talent tree later on. By spending one of your talent points within the talent tree to upgrade the Revelio spell, it will last longer and reach even farther distances. There's also a neat little trick that you can use to take advantage of Revelio without even spending the talent point, which I will show you at the end of the video. Now that you have access to Revelio, however, we're moving on to step two, which is to get the Disillusionment Charm. Thankfully, you also gain access to this one pretty early on. To unlock it, you have to reach a specific point in the game where you begin the questline with Professor Hecat, the Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher. Funny enough, this questline also introduces non-Slytherin players to the companion from Slytherin called Sebastian Salo, with an assignment that will also get you the Incendio spell and eventually will lead to you getting the Unforgivable Curses from Sebastian himself. Nevertheless, you start the questline by going to class for Defense Against the Dark Arts. Progress even further through the questline and then eventually Sebastian will invite you to head into the restricted section of the library. Meet me outside the library tonight. And that is where you can practice using the charm. Is someone there? Disillusionment is an essential part of the gameplay because it will allow you, the player, to turn invisible both in and outside of combat. When you're using it in combat against your enemies, you essentially use this as a stealth tactic and, if you get close to your opponents, you can use the pop-up keybind X or square, depending on your console, to use Petrificus Totalis. This is an instant kill for most enemies that are not bosses. But what we really want to use it for is for chests. Across the entire world, you will stumble upon chests like this that have a wandering eye. If you try to approach it without having the Disillusionment Charm activated, it will refuse to open. So, the quicker that you are able to get the Disillusionment Charm, you'll be able to approach these chest types in an invisible manner and loot each one for 500 galleons each. That is a lot in the Hogwarts Legacy economy. And no, it does not scale. Every single one of these chest types will only drop 500 galleons, but that still is a lot. You have Revelio, the Disillusionment Charm. Finally, the last step in this puzzle is to get Alohomora. This spell is essential to your exploration within Hogwarts Legacy because it allows you to pick locks both within Hogwarts and in the surrounding map. Pretty early on, you'll notice in Hogwarts that there are some doors locked with a chain that range in levels between level 1 and level 3. By using Alohomora, you'll be able to pick those locks Skyrim style and get access to newer areas with rooms that have chests with better loot. This could range from galleons to really useful gear items that can help you throughout your journey. Super cool detail for exploration, but how exactly do you get the spell? You will gain access to Alohomora by progressing naturally through the story up until the seasons start to turn into autumn. Once the season does change, you'll be able to go to the Hogwarts caretaker called Gladwin Moon. He's going to be standing pretty conspicuously near the flu flame located in the Grand Staircase at Hogwarts. Doing so will start to trigger the questline known as the Caretaker's Lunar Lament. In terms of a time commitment, this questline will take you around 3 to 5 hours to unlock, depending on how fast you are. Once you finish that first quest with Gladwin, you'll gain access to Alohomora Level 1, and by progressing through the Caretaker's questline, you'll be able to upgrade it to Level 2 and then Level 3. There you have it, all three tools are ready to go. Revelio, the Disillusionment Charm, and Alohomora. Now is when things get 
saucy. You remember when I mentioned a secret tip? Yeah, it involves getting the broom. To unlock this mount, you'll need to progress through the story until you complete two specific quests. The first one being the flying class, which shows you the basics of how to ride a broom, and then you can continue until you finish the quest called Jackdaw's Rest. Now you'll be able to purchase a broom of your own for around 600 gold at Spintwitch's Sporting Needs store in Hogsmeade. The cool thing about the broom, besides the fact that you can now travel across the world with greater ease, is the fact that you can still use Revelio when you're mounted. Not only that though, you can use this specific tactic without even gaining access to the talent tree yet. So, all you need to do is get your broom, start mounting it, and activate the Revelio spell. As you can see, objective markers, enemies, and items can be seen from further away, and you'll be able to do so outside of Hogwarts' surrounding areas. With all these prerequisites ready to go, you are ready to start looting wherever you want. I will say, exploration can get a little bit tedious once you get to the later stages of the game. Especially if you have to gather a ton of resources to upgrade your broom, your gear, or your room of requirement. So, to make it easy for you, I found a website called Map Genie that allows you to see a full map of Hogwarts, Hogsmeade, and the surrounding areas with every single location marker ready for you to see. I'm leaving a link to the website in the description of this video, let me know if it helped you out. Also, if you want to learn more about how to get money a little bit easier in Hogwarts Legacy, I'm about to drop a video on this channel covering the tactics to get a lot of money early on. So make sure that you subscribe with the Naughty Bell on so you can get an instant notification for whenever I post that video. What I really want want to know, however, is are you enjoying Hogwarts Legacy? What other tutorials would you like me to cover? Drop a like and let me know in the comments down below.